Hey peeps, today we'll be talking about zero castles, how to build one, how to play one, and pretty much all there is to it. Uh, so first off, what is a zero castle? A zero castle is a, is a setup where the player has just enough troops to be able to hide them all so they don't take losses during attacks. Uh, it's quite fun to play this setup as when people hit you, they won't get anything and at the same time your troops are safe and alive. Uh, zero castles are the most popular among rally fillers, but that, that, that doesn't stop some rally leaders to play in that, in that way as well. The most important thing about zero castles is that they run a full hospital setup that allows them to, to have more troops as well as to not be punished so badly by the enemy if, if they make a mistake. Unlike trap castles, uh, Zero Castle players are free to research whatever they want uh, and whatever they like uh, because the power isn't important uh, like with, with Trap Castles. With trap, uh, trap Castles you want your power to be lower, with Zero Castles it, it doesn't matter. Uh, regard regarding other aspects of the game, Zero Castles can use the Lord gear they like, uh, the commanders they like, the castle and marching skins they like but when it comes to refinement, uh, there are a couple of tips that I could give you. Uh, so, first off, uh, you absolutely need army size. That allows you to send more troops with your marches, which is vital for this setup. Uh, and second, if, you're, uh, if you'll be a rally filler, maybe consider not going full battle, uh, battle refinements, but also uh, get something like uh, motivation recovery for example something to to help your teammates uh, if you'll be a rally leader or you're a solo player that likes invading uh, of course you, you can go for a full pvp setup for your troop types and etc okay so now it's finally time to talk about hiding troops itself uh, there are a couple ways to to do that first we have the shelter uh, it's it's a great safe place for your troops and on top on top of that there are some nice castle skins that can help you increase the cast the, the shelter size uh, most of them can be found in the in the recruitment pass but uh, they have as a collection bonus uh, army shelter capacity increased by 100,000 uh, those are great castle skins to have if you're a zero, zero castle player uh, another way to hide troops is through fake rallies on rebel camps. Uh, you can you can just initiate an eight-hour rally and select whatever you, whatever troops you want, whatever commanders you want, uh, and just just wait in that rally. Your troops will be safe. Uh, as you can initiate only one rally, if you want to hide more troops in rallies, uh, you would need some friends to help you out with that. Uh, they can initiate rallies and you can join their rallies as well. Uh, you just have to communicate if you need your, your troops back. Uh, if there aren't any teammates around, you can hide your troops with re resource nodes. Uh, here I've seen two types of, of players. Some just sit in the node, uh, which, is, which is closer to them. And I don't think that's it ideal as your troops can be hit. They, they're just sitting in a note and they can get hit. Uh, the alternative though, it's, it's much better. Uh, so for example, you just pick some, some notes that is uh, quite far from you. Let, let me find just one. Uh, okay, so for example, this one, no. Okay, uh, you pick a gathering site, let's say 20 minutes away from you. Uh, you speed up to it and then recall when you reach it and you leave the recall troops to march those 20 minutes uh, without speeding them up. In that way, if you, uh, if you time your fervor, you can even bubble before your troops are back because that's a, a gathering army, not a, uh, not a battle army participating in PvP. Uh, finally, some people hide troops in occupations on the map, but that's an awful idea. Uh, and why is that? If someone jumps on the spot you're going to, and so for example, if I'm occupying this, 
and while my troops are going there, someone can port on, on this spot. And if they port on this spot and then port away, you instantly hit their castle with that march. So, so yeah, don't, don't do that. And now we finally reach the final section of the video, the troop setup itself. Uh, as a zero castle, you would want T3 and T4 troops. And if you have T5s unlocked, uh, them as well. In terms of numbers though, uh, you would want 400 to 500,000 T3s for your front line if you are a solo player or for your rally leader's front line uh, and those should be enough. The rest can be T4s. Uh, and the amount of those T4s you can easily calculate for your account. Uh, it's shelter size plus number of deployments times average deployment size plus hospital capacity and I'll give an example right away uh, so for example if uh, your shelter is 800,000 troops uh, for example you have six deployments with an average army of 650k per deployment and your hospital size is let's say 750k hospital size uh, with all of that, you can manage around 5.5 million troops, which is which is a lot. Uh, but but yeah, that, that's how you calculate on average how many troops you you would need. Uh, if if you have more than that, uh, you wouldn't be able to hide them all during attacks because those are the places where you can you can actually hide the extra tro extra troops and. If you go over that number, you, you have troops sitting in your castle and you can't do anything with them. Um, that's why you want army size in your refinements and a full hospital setup. Uh, as a conclusion, I can, I can say that playing good as a zero castle is quite easy, but uh, perfecting it could take some time. But in both cases, it's a really fun setup and I recommend you to try it. Uh, so that was it for for this video i hope you enjoyed and learned something new if you're a newer player and until next time